What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Today we've got a couple of news stories in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, I want to talk about a $1,800 monitor, which is actually quite a good deal when you see what the specs are on this monitor from Porsche. That's right, Porsche, like the actual car company in partnership with AOC. Absolutely incredible monitor with dream specs for me. Also, Mythforced, a new early access game which is coming out on 420. <laughs> Blaze it, brothers. Coming out on 420, which is inspired by 80s cartoons, and it's a roguelike co-op game, kind of in the vein of something like Vermintide, with an absolutely incredible art style. Really excited to talk about this one and try it next week when it's available, so let's get fired into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by PrimeTechMart.com, where you can save money on software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $25. They've also got Windows 10 Home for under $20, and now Windows 11 Pro you can grab over on PrimeTechMart.com. They've also got Office 2019 and the new Office 2021. And if you want to save an additional 20% at checkout on Windows 10 or any other software, go ahead and click buy it now. And during the checkout process, go ahead and put JP20 in and apply that coupon and that'll give you 20% off of any software that you happen to pick up over there. So for Windows 10 Pro, you can see it dropped our price down from $24.46 to under $20. So be sure to hit up the links down in the description below and don't forget to use my coupon code JP20 at checkout for an additional 20% off. First up, we have to talk about this monitor from Porsche. Like I said at the beginning, yes, Porsche. Like I was like, Porsche, like the actual car company? Yeah, I didn't know they made products other than cars, but apparently they have a subdivision that's responsible for some electronics. Um, they have like a $100 Bluetooth mouse. They have like some ridiculous like $2,000 sunglasses, which is not electronics, but some weird stuff out there, I guess, with Porsche's branding on it. And they have an electronics division that is partnering up with AOC to bring this $1,800 monitor with some ridiculous specs, 4K, 32 inches, 144 hertz with mini LED, and 1400 nits for the HDR. So that is pretty damn impressive. And when you consider those specs, the $1,800 is actually not a terrible price when compared to some other displays out there, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But here's the monitor. Um, it's got these retractable uh, arms on the side. So you figure you could probably use that for like a headphone like thing, hang your hand for headphone on or something like that. But uh, they do retract and it's got a very sleek looking design. I really like the uh, aluminum base here, which they say is meant to be reminiscent sort of of a Porsche steering wheel, I guess. Whatever. I just like the fact that it looks clean, silver and black and no gaudy like black and red gamer colors or anything like that. It does have RGB on the backside. Here's the backside of the monitor. I'm sure the, the, the RGB and all that can be disabled. Um, but yeah, it's got this RGB on the sides as well as the back, which will illuminate onto the wall. So it's not on the front of the display or, or anything like that. So that's kind of cool that they've uh, sort of kept everything to the back of the monitor. And I'm sure you can go ahead and disable all that stuff if you didn't want to use it. And you can retract those, uh, those headphone hangers on the side of the monitor or whatever you want to hang off of there. It's also got a remote control, which we don't see really too often with uh, gaming size monitors. And uh, being 32 inches, this is like the perfect size for me. I I've gotten used to using my 27 inch uh, 4K monitor, uh, but I'd be lying if I didn't say sometimes things are a little bit too small and I do have to zoom in on certain websites in order to be able to read things legibly and all of that. Um, but it, it makes up for any of the pitfalls with that, with having tons of screen real estate. So having a 32 inch display would just make things look even better. I've used 32 inch 4K monitors in the past. I actually, well, I have, I have two of them here in the studio, but they're 60 Hertz and I really just use one for a secondary screen and one for my test setup. But I've always wanted a 32 inch 4K gaming monitor as my primary display because I just think it's the perfect size and pixel density. And the fact that this has mini LED, which I've got a chance to get some hands-on time with a few years ago, actually, behind closed doors at CES, and it looked absolutely incredible. It was almost on the verge of being on par with OLED. It does, it's not quite OLED, but it gets pretty damn close. Uh, and also having mini LED, you also don't have to deal with the fact that those organic light emitting diodes do die and get worse over time. You might be onto a new monitor by then, but it is something that you may have to deal with. So 
This being, you know, HDR, like I said, 1400 nits, but they said it's actually capable of reaching 1600 nits. And uh, yeah, $1,800, which is a lot of money. But if you want a very similar spec monitor um, from someone like Asus, who are obviously marking up their products a ton, if their AOC is doing a monitor partnered with Porsche for $1,800 and Asus' uh, equivalent is selling for $2,895, nearly $2,900, for virtually the same exact monitor, like I said, 32 inch 4K, 144 hertz, uh, G Sync, display HDR 1400, which is the same as on the other one. Uh, this one is listed as G Sync, but I believe the other one might be Free Sync, which would conceivably work with G Sync anyway. Um, you know, nowadays that pretty much works on pretty much all monitors without any issues. Um, so that's really the only thing I can see this having over the AOC one is that it's not G Sync branded. Uh, so Asus is, is charging a hell of a lot of money for this monitor. I'm not saying it's not worth it. It's just way more money than I would want. Even $1,800 is way more than I would be willing or able to spend right now on a gaming display. I'm sure I'm going to stick with my 27-inch Asus uh, X27 for quite a while longer. But I do look forward to the day where these 32-inch monitors, they, they are starting to become more common. Um, I've been waiting a few years for these things to start to really come around. And they're finally starting to show up in more and more monitors. And I, for one, am very excited about it. And because that means in probably two or three years' time, these things will probably be about a thousand bucks and be pretty standard in the industry, I would like to think, as uh, 4K gaming becomes something that's more accessible to more people as we get more powerful graphics cards and people wanting to play at the higher resolutions. Uh, I've been playing on 4K for quite a few years now, and uh, it's really only started to become viable in the last two generations of cards. The 2080 Ti was a struggle, um, but this gen with the 3080 Ti's and 3090's and stuff, it's actually something you could do on pretty much most games, as long as you don't get into ray tracing and stuff like that. But DLSS, again, that also helps out there. So this monitor from uh, AOC and Porsche looks pretty sweet. And I'm looking forward to seeing it hit in the market and uh, see what the reviews are like on this thing. Next up, I wanted to talk about a new early access game that's going to be coming to the Epic Store. Yes, I believe this is going to be sadly exclusive to the Epic Store called Myth Force. Um, this is actually being made by former Bioware developers that were most recently responsible for working on the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Editions. And it is going to be a co-op roguelite. So you can expect it to be rather difficult um and you may go through some areas and then die and lose all the loot that you've been you know collecting and hoarding and stuff like that so the roguelite aspect of it is not really great to me personally um but the art style and the co-op nature of it and everything else that goes along with it absolutely is like watching the gameplay trailer for this and also i saw jack frags had like a 20 plus minute video he posted on it yesterday um it looks great, honestly. I can't wait to try it out. It's going to be available for early access starting on April 20th on the Epic Store, and it is definitely heavily inspired by 80s cartoons, like things like Thundercats and all of that, and you go, you're going around and you know, you're wielding swords and shooting bow, bow and arrows, and there's probably sure there's some like magic component. It's like a fantasy RPG, but built into this 80s art style, which they have just absolutely nailed. And also watching the trailer and Jack Frag's video on it, the, the voice acting, the cheesy 80s cartoon type of music, which it's just lots of nostalgia for me having grown up in the 80s and watching cartoons. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And I would love to see more games sort of put out in, in, this, in this art style and uh, definitely look forward to trying it out. The, the co-op nature of it, the four-player co-op, it's very similar to something like a Left 4 Dead or, you know, Vermintide, if you've played, played that um, but it seems like it's going to be a lot more difficult than something like Vermintide as it is um, building more on the roguelite features of it. So we'll have to see once it hits our early access and get some more time with it, or any time with it. I haven't played it at all yet. But, you know, and getting to see it develop over time. As it is going to be early access, I'm sure that whatever we get next week is not going to be reminiscent of the final product of the game. So I'm sure they'll continue to work on it over time. And I look forward to uh, tracking the progress of this and hopefully... Myth Force is uh, going to be a mythical force to be reckoned with, one might say. But that's all I've got for you guys today in today's PC Gaming News. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll catch you tomorrow for another video.